All right, what's good, Thumpers? I'm back with a story time. I ain't dropped a story time since the end of last year. I be getting comments every other day. Niggas watch my old story times. They say it's funny or whatever. So I'm back with another story time. This story time takes place in 2015. So 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight years ago. So I was 12 eight years ago. Now the title is probably... I almost got arrested story time. I didn't almost get arrested, but I got to get y'all to click on the video. It's not clickbait, but it's clickbait at the same time. Like y'all, I ain't almost get arrested, but I got involved with the police. I guess I could say. Let's get into the story. So this story involved me, my brother, and two of my friends. So if y'all watch my caught watching porn story time, it was that friend. Okay, we went to my friend who had the porn on his DS. Go watch that story time. I might put the shit right here somewhere. Go watch that story time. We used to go to this nigga's house, right? So the friend who uh, had the porn on his DS lived on the farm, right? This long ass farm road. It had hella animals, fucking horses, fucking boars, chickens. I remember these two big ass dogs. These, I think one of the niggas' name was like Arrow. They was these big ass, mean ass dogs. We would think those niggas gonna get out the fence because the fence would like be open and they would run up to the shit. We'd have to go quick. But. Yeah, this nigga lived on, like, a farm road. Like, his house wasn't a farm, but it was, like, a long-ass road, and you see, like, hella farms and animals and shit like that. So, me and my other friend, we went to this nigga's house to spend a night. My brother don't come into play until the next day. So, we went to his house, and I think we played Halo or some shit. We, you know, we played Halo, you know, watch videos and shit, went to sleep, woke up. So, this is the day that the shit happened. So, my friend who house we was at to live on the farm, the nigga had porn on his DS, he uh he's mixed, so he has a white and black side of his family. We was at his his great granny house, and that's his white side of his family. But I remember it was this random nigga with the afro, this black dude with the afro. I don't know who he was. I don't remember his name or nothing like that. This was fucking eight years ago. But this nigga with the afro was there, and he uh I don't know who the fuck this nigga was. I remember he was black with the afro. But yeah, we woke up and he came in the. It wasn't like a, it was like a room, but it was like a part of the living room that we were sleeping in because they didn't have like a, a door or nothing. So it was like basically part of the living room, but they put like a curtain up. So it like looked like it's another room, but he uh came in because he heard us uh, wake up and he was like, y'all want some breakfast? And we was like, yeah, we'll take some breakfast. So this nigga, he made us some breakfast. He made us some eggs and some sausage and he gave us the food. And when I bit into the egg, all I tasted was water. That <laughs> this nigga made some watery ass eggs. These eggs was nasty as fuck and wet. It felt like it tasted like this nigga dumped the eggs in water and gave it to us. Like I'm not even trying to be exaggerated. This the the eggs ain't taste like no egg. Like y'all know if you make a normal ass egg, it was scrambled eggs. This shit tasted wet and nasty. It ain't have no flavor. It tasted like water. Like the nigga just dumped it in water and gave it to us. The sausage tasted the same way, but I ain't eating none of the sausage because the eggs was nasty. So the day before I went to spend a night at the nigga house, I had this big ass like circle thing of gummy worms. And I ate the gummy worms for breakfast because the eggs was watery and nasty. They was nasty as fuck. I can't explain like what's the word i'm trying to think i can't fucking tell y'all how nasty these eggs was like these eggs was nasty as fuck they was wet and nasty my friend who house we was at this nigga ate it like it was the greatest meal on earth that nigga ate it like it was the greatest meal on earth my other friend that was there he ain't eat the eggs he ate the sausage you know he the sausage was watery too but he ate it because he was hungry i ate gummy worms for breakfast i should have known that something bad was gonna happen just based off that being my first meal of the day, some watery ass, nasty eggs. With two, it's like, bro, how did you, what did you do, like, to make the eggs taste nasty as fuck? Like, you put it, like, they tasted not like eggs. It tasted like it was eating water that tasted like somebody chewed on it. It was nasty as fuck. I'll never get that taste out of my mouth. I still think about that whenever I see some eggs. Also, I didn't want to disrespect the dude by throwing it away immediately, so I put the eggs and sausage in my container that I had the gummy worms in. I ate the gummy worms and then put the eggs and stuff inside the container. Then I threw it away. I didn't want to disrespect the nigga because, like, I respect him and appreciate him, you know, making us breakfast. But I don't respect that it tasted like water. So I put it in the container and threw it away so it didn't look like I was just throwing away his, you know, 
hard earned or hard, you know, working breakfast that the nigga made. But yeah, they should have told me something bad was gonna happen based off those watery ass eggs. So fast forward a bit. I think we went to the park or some shit. I forgot. Yeah, I think we went to the park. He had a park like 20 minutes away from his house because he lived on the long ass road that took around 20 minutes to go down if we walked. And we walked. So yeah, we went to the park for a bit. We came back to his house. And then my brother, he was a, uh, we were 12. My brother was 15. He was three years ahead of us. Um, He came, me and him, we don't got the same mom. We got the same dad and stuff. So we don't live together and stuff. He, uh, he came. I think we played the game. I forgot. But then this is where the story really, uh, you know, become the title. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. My nigga's hot as fuck. My friend who house we was at, he was like, y'all want to go to this abandoned house. Now, this abandoned house was on the long ass farm road and it did look like it was no life there. No, nothing there. It was like hella grass, hella trees and all that. It didn't look like nobody was there. So us being kids, we were like, yeah, let's go to the abandoned house. So we went to the abandoned house and it was like a little gate. We all jumped over it. It was like a small ass gate. Like you don't have to climb it. Just, you know, step over it. We went over the little gate and we looked around and stuff. We went to the backyard. We did all that. We looked around. And then the nigga who house we was at, the nigga who had the uh, porn on his DS, if y'all watch my other story time. And my brother, keep in mind, my brother was three years older than us. This nigga... He said, no, the nigga who house we was at, he said that we should break into the house. Now, me and my other friend that was there, we was like, fuck no, we ain't breaking into no house. Like, yeah, we thought it was abandoned and stuff, but we not breaking in, breaking and entering into no house or nothing like that. Like, the dude who house we was at, this nigga, that nigga has a lot of history with the uh, the police and stuff like that. So, that that's up his alley. But my brother, who was three years older than us. This nigga was not about that. I don't know why this nigga did that, but he agreed to it. So me and my other friend that was there, that said, no, we hop back over the fence. And we was like, hey, y'all niggas could do that. We not about to, you know, hop, you know, uh, break into a house or nothing like that. So they was like, OK. And then they went back. Now, we was just waiting for those niggas to come out. And then I remember there was this nigga next door, this Mexican dude. He came out and he was like, what are you guys doing? And we was like, oh, we're just waiting on our friends to come back. And he was like. Hey, I think you guys should leave. I don't want you guys to get in trouble or, you know, nothing bad to happen. So we told the dude that we just waiting for them to come back and we'll leave. Thank you for, you know, trying to give us some good words of encouragement and shit like that. So the dude left and we ain't want to like yell out these niggas names or nothing. So we were just waiting for these niggas to come back. And then 10 seconds later, all I heard was Psh! fucking Stone Cold theme song, the glass breaking and shit. And then a big ass boom. So. The nigga who house we was at, the nigga with the porn on his DS, this nigga threw a rock and broke the window. And my brother, I ain't tell you all this, but my brother was like six foot, 290 pound, big, obese nigga. So this nigga used his body mass and boom, broke the door. And all we heard was run, niggas, run, niggas, run. So we ran for our lives and we was like laughing and shit about it. You know what I mean? We... I ain't really think, like, I knew they was going to break in, but I didn't think they was going to break in. I thought they was going to, like, not break no windows or break no doors. I thought they was just going to, I couldn't, I thought they was playing a little bit. I don't know. But we laughed about it. We went to the library. We wasn't reading nothing. We just went to the library. We stayed there probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and we came back. And then my brother, like I said, we don't have the same mom. He, uh... He wanted to spend a night at my friend's house, but his mom said no. So my brother got mad. He was like yelling. He was like, fuck. Like he was like a big ass nigga. Like, yeah, oh, fuck, man. Fuck. Yeah. He was like that. And it was funny. But he left because his mom told him to come back home and he was mad and shit. So he left. So we, me, my friend, and the friend who, uh, house we was at, we kept going back to his house. Now, when I was spending a night in my friend's houses, I would usually. Spend a night, and then I would usually go home in the morning. But some, I don't know what happened. I ain't go home in the morning that day. I should have went home after I ate those watery ass nasty eggs. But I stayed, and this led to this. So we was walking to the dude house, and we seen the police down the street. Now that abandoned house in my friend's house, you gotta like walk a little bit and then turn to see it. 
the police was right in front of this long ass road or whatever right there that we could see from my friend's house so when we seen the police it was like two or three police cars we ran to this nigga house we was like fuck the police fuck we ran to this nigga house and we went to the living room and then maybe five minutes later there was a knock at the door and we was like fuck and i think it was who opened the door i think it was his uh his stepdad my friend's stepdad opened the door and it was the police and they were like dude you have any boys that just ran in here and we went outside and the police he asked to look at the bottom of our shoes and my friend not the one who uh house we was at but my other friend that went with me the one that didn't break in uh the police said they identified his shoes the most because it matched the uh, shit in the grass or whatever i ain't even remember it being dirt or nothing on the ground so but they seen the shoe mark and stuff so they talked to this nigga first and i was like uh, in my head i was just like fuck like i don't fuck like i ain't know what to do i ain't know what to do so they talked to this nigga and then they talked to he was crying and stuff and then they talked to the friend who house was at he talked to him this nigga like i told y'all he got involved with the police and stuff plenty plenty times he was like tearing up but he wasn't crying my first friend he was like you know tears was he was like and then they talked to me he said, I know you guys broke into the house. And I was like, I didn't break into a house. I ain't snitch. I ain't say who threw the rock or who broke the door. I just said, I didn't break into any house. And my eyes was watering and stuff. I was like, fuck, why am I in this situation, man? And I kept saying, I didn't break into any house. I He was like, oh, you um, I could tell by your shoes that you were on the property. And I was like, yeah, I did get on the property, but I didn't break into any house. Then after that, the nigga read me my Miranda rights. Now, when this nigga said, you have the right to remain silent, anything you say, you can be, whatever the fuck, I started crying, my nigga. I was like, fuck. Oh, I ain't know what to do. <laughs> I ain't know what, I wasn't like, eh! but I was like, like tears was like, first of my eyes was watery when he first was talking to me initially. And then when he was reading me my Miranda rights, that's when my eyes were like, Dun. and then he read my Miranda rights and shit. I'm just like, fuck, what do I do? And then this nigga was like, we're going to have to call your parents or guardian. And if they don't answer, you're going to have to go to the police station. And in my head, when he said that, I was like, fuck. Either I call my mama and my mama get mad as fuck. Or I call her. She don't answer. I got to go to the police station. My mama find out. She got to go to the police station, find out what happened get mad as fuck so it was a lose lose i was like fuck why this gotta happen to me why I ain't just go home why didn't i not just go home like i usually do in the morning when i spend a night at somebody's house but i didn't so i called my mama and i i i ain't want her to answer but i didn't want her to not answer either like i ain't want <laughs> i ain't want the next step to happen i ain't want the next shit to happen but i called my mama and my mama answered and she said hello and i was like mama the police want to talk to you and she was like what and i was like the police want to talk to you and then i <laughs> the tears flowing you could hear the pain in my voice i handed the police uh the phone and he was like yeah your son was involved in the break-in and i was like I didn't break into a house. Like, I said it loud as fuck. It's like, I'm, I'm, I didn't break into a house. Like, y'all can't lie on me and say, I, I stepped on the property, yeah, but I ain't breaking into nobody's house. But he talked to my mom, and then they was on their way. It was my mom and my dad. They both came together. And my dad didn't know that my brother was involved in it, too. So he got even more mad when he uh uh knew that my brother got involved. So he waited, and my mom and him talked to the uh, police and then I got my stuff and I went with my mom and dad. And, you know, I was in the back seat. I ain't gonna lie, I was crying. I was crying. You know, it got worse when my mama came because I just seen that look on her face. She was, you know, she she ain't say nothing. Like, you know, the, she ain't really say nothing. But when she, I could just see that look, I was like, fuck. My mama gonna go crazy, man. My mama gonna go crazy. <laughs> and we was on my way home. And I was crying. She was like, you don't got to cry now. And I'm just like, fuck. So we got to my house. My dad went to my brother's house. 
And then my mom, you know how mamas be, they, you know, call the family and stuff, tell them everything that happened. She was saying, I broke into your house, man. You broke into your house, stand all that shit. And I'm just like, I didn't break into her. She called my brother, not my other brother. I have like 16 siblings. Most of them, uh, one, two, four of them is from my mother. And then the rest of them is on my dad's side. But yeah, she called my brother. And I talked to him, told him what happened. And then I went back to my room. And I knew what was coming. My mama, she usually did this. She w- she wouldn't, like, beat my ass immediately, you know. She would, like, wait, let me, you know, get my guard down or whatever. And then go crazy. So I was just sitting there. I was watching some shit. I don't even know. I was just like, fuck, I want to fast forward time. But, yeah, so maybe, like, an hour later, my mama came. My room is, like, right there. So you got to go walk down the hallway to come. And she stopped at the my door. And she was like. You know what time it is, right? And I was just like this. I was like, I was like this. Hold on, make sure y'all can see my face. I was like this. I was like. (laughs) And I nodded. I knew what time it was. My mama walked towards me. My mama said. I'm doing that. She beat the shit out of me. She went crazy. My mama beat the goofy out of me, man. She hit me probably 30 times. She went crazy. All fists. Pop, 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 pop. I'm just... She beat the shit out of me. And uh, I had a PlayStation 4 at the time. She walked out. She was like, put your PlayStation in my closet. And I was just like, fuck. She beat my ass. She mad at me. I can't play the game. I can't play 2K. I was just like, fuck. I wasn't... I stopped crying for my mom hitting me or anything when I was like a little kid, when I was like probably nine or eight. So I wasn't like crying, you know, when she like hit me or whatever. I was just like, damn, like, what do I do now? Like, because <laughs> the police said we had to go to court and stuff. I was just like, what the fuck? So yeah, I put my PlayStation in her closet and that she ain't. I think she believed me that I didn't break into the house. She just was more mad that I even got involved in that. The fact that I even got on the property and all that. Because she wasn't really, like, mad after that. Like, I mean, she was mad because she. we thought at the time we had to go to court. But it's been eight years and we never went to court for that. I don't think, I don't know what. I think the friend who broke in, Uh, I think that nigga went to court for it. I don't know about my brother. I'll have to ask him. But. I never went to court, and my friend who was there with me, he never went to court for it. And, yeah, I put the PlayStation in the closet. And then she didn't want me hanging out with my friend who broke the uh, the window and my brother. She didn't want me hanging out with them no more. And uh, that's really it, yeah. My mama beat this shit out of me because my friends broke into a house and I was on the property. That's really it. Like I, I <laughs> We did not have to go to court. That was eight years ago. That's an, I, I, at the time that was like a really, really major thing. You know, I was just like, damn, I gotta go to court for this. What? Did I, why I gotta be involved in this? But looking back at it now, it's like that's just nothing happened. That's just like one of those little moments in life where it's, you know, shit just be happening. You know, you a kid and some crazy shit be happening. That's that's really the story time. That's really it. I don't know if this story was asked or not. Y'all probably thought I was really, you know, almost getting arrested or whatever. I just had to clickbait y'all. I want to tell y'all about the watery eggs and my mama turned into Mike Tyson on me. That's all I want to tell y'all for real. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's the story time right there. Funny moment, funny moment. Go watch my other story times, the musty in class story time and the uh, caught watching porn story time and the almost thought I was going to die story time. If y'all enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to drop a new video soon. Uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this quick story time and, uh, stay safe and look.